Odessa and Big Spring. This is ABC Big 2 News at 10. Now at 10, we start with a live look tonight at Capitol Hill. After weeks of negotiations, a bipartisan group of senators announced they have reached an agreement in principle on new gun legislation in the wake of recent mass shootings. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rob Tuke. If passed, this legislation would be the most significant action Congress has taken on gun safety since the federal assault weapons ban was allowed to expire in the 2000s. Here's ABC's Ike Jachi with those details. A bipartisan group of senators announcing on Sunday it's reached a general agreement on new gun legislation. It's an agreement in principle and not legislative text. The details of the deal will be critical for Republicans, particularly the firearms-related provisions. Twenty senators, including the ten Republicans necessary to avoid a filibuster, released a statement on Sunday, saying in part, Today we are announcing a common-sense bipartisan proposal to protect America's children, keep our schools safe, and reduce the threat of violence across our country. Included in the agreement, further funding for mental health, incentives for the creation of so-called red flag laws, increased funding for school safety, and strengthening the federal background check system. For buyers under 21 years of age, the deal would require an investigative period to review juvenile and mental health records. In a statement, President Biden saying, obviously it does not do everything that I think is needed, but it reflects important steps in the right direction. The House has been working on more sweeping actions on gun reform, but those measures would likely fail in the Senate. Democratic Congressman Jamie Raskin telling CNN this deal is a baby step he would vote for. It's moving in the right direction. We're glad that the, the Senate is finally uh, awake about this. News of this agreement coming just one day after hundreds of thousands marched in cities across the country calling for tougher gun legislation. We're not taking people's guns away. We're just saying nobody should have military-style weapons to be able to go into schools and, and ch kill n huge numbers of kids within just minutes. March for Our Lives founder David Hogg, a survivor of the 2018 Parkland school shooting, reacting to the deal, tweeting, This is progress, even if small. Even if it stops one Parkland, it's worth it. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington. And right now, Texas does not specifically require how owners store firearms and ammunition safely, except for preventing access to children. That was not included in the package that bipartisan group of senators agreed on today. And today marks one year since a mass shooting in Austin. One person was killed and 14 others injured on 6th Street. There was a town hall in Austin today to talk about gun violence and solutions. So what are the common sense things that we can do that will be deterrents? How do you identify those who are prone to commit violence and see that they have no access to a firearm and do that in a constitutional, respectful of due process manner? States with stronger gun laws have fewer gun deaths, period. Almost everyone agreed at the town hall on the need for safe gun storage laws and that conversations like these are a step in the right direction. Now, emotions ran high today outside of the Pulse nightclub memorial in Orlando. Six years ago today, 49 people lost their lives at the nightclub during a mass shooting. At exactly 1.58 early this morning, the, f the time the first gunshots rang out, there were hugs, tears, and prayers. And since the vigil, a steady stream of visitors have stopped by the memorial site to look at pictures and to reflect. And developing now at 10, 31 white nationalists accused of plotting to disrupt an LGBTQ plus celebration for Pride Month. Many in the group were wearing masks and shin guards when they were taken into custody in Idaho. Now this, now this comes as police say they were all getting ready to riot. ABC Zachary Kish tells us local law enforcement and law enforcement across the country has been on heightened alert for something like this. Tonight, dozens of individuals belonging to the far-right extremist group, the Patriot Front, arrested in Idaho, have made bail. They were charged with planning a riot at a nearby Pride event. Authorities say evidence suggests the group planned to cause disruption and chaos at an LGBTQ plus Pride Month celebration. It is clear to us, based on the gear that the individuals had all with them, that they came to riot downtown. Their target was a park in downtown Coeur the host of the event. 
Officials say, acting on a tip, police in heavy body armor pulled over this U-Haul, detaining 31 members inside with shields, riot gear, and at least one smoke grenade. It appeared to be very similar to an operations plan that a police or military group would uh, put together for an event. Among those arrested, Patriot Front founder Thomas Rizzo booked on criminal conspiracy charges. Authorities say many of the men arrested traveled to Idaho from other states. According to organizations tracking hate groups, the Patriot Front is considered one of the leading white nationalist organizations in the U.S. Law enforcement around the country is on heightened alert over what they describe as an increase in violent threats from domestic violence extremist groups and neo-Nazi factions. It is an ideology that is responsible for a lot of death in this country, and it's important that we call it out for what it is, and we try to stop it well before it gets to a place of violence. In a statement, GLAD blaming the political climate and what they call anti-LGBTQ legislation. Now, one woman was killed and two others injured in a suburb north of Dallas. Police, say in, Cas police in Castle Hill say three women in their early 20s were found with gunshot wounds inside this car early this morning. Around 50 shell casings were found, too, some belonging to an AK-47 and a 9mm. So far, no arrests have been made. And five teenagers were shot in Louisville, Kentucky overnight. It happened downtown just hours after an anti-gun violence rally in the same area. There are no suspects at the moment, and police say all the victims were under 18 years old. And a one-year-old girl at the center of an Amber Alert and the, and the suspect accused of abducting her have been found dead. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation said baby Jakari Bennett was believed to have been abducted by Darian Javars Bennett, the child's father. 38-year-old Bennett shot and killed the one-year-old's mother and wounded the child's grandmother before police say he took the child and hid out at a church where he shot the child before killing himself. And they located the suspect's vehicle with the door open. While they were checking the vehicle, they heard numerous gunshot, gunshots from behind the church. They went to behind the church. They located a gazebo. Uh, Search the area and about 100 feet into the wood line, they located the baby and the father deceased with gunshot wounds. The investigation is ongoing. The sheriff also said anytime there is a domestic issue or if you're exchanging your children and are concerned, either call law enforcement or set up a meeting place where local law enforcement is closest to you, like the agency's parking lot. And 46 arrest warrants have been issued to students at the University of New Hampshire. Police in Durham say it's for potential hazing of new members at the Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity there. As of Friday, 10 arrests have been made. And a lot closer to home, taking a live look now from our Midland Tower cam, it was no surprise today was another stifling hot day. And joining us now with a check on our forecast is ABC Big 2's Bridget Sarpong. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Rob. You're right. Today was a very sizzling kind of Sunday. You know, how hot did we get? We got all the way up to 104 degrees. Usually around this time in June, we're definitely used to 95 degree temperatures. Take a look at our highs for today. One degree close of making our record back in 2001 when we sat at 105 degrees. Rob, I'll have more of this new week's forecast on the show. Back over to you. Absolutely. Thank you, Bridget. And trending tonight, Black Sabbath singer and legend Ozzy Osbourne is heading into the operating room tomorrow. The 73-year-old is undergoing a major operation tomorrow, according to his wife, Sharon. Ozzy has been battling neck problems for nearly two decades after a quad biking accident. Sharon said this surgery will determine the rest of Ozzy's life. It's bittersweet because I love my company, love my job, and I miss it. And coming up, a Southwest Airlines captain flies one last flight into the Texas Panhandle. How the captain's family is helping him take off into retirement. And we got highlights from the Diamond. Just how did our Texas teams fare today? Find out when we come back. Executive producer Peyton Manning comes a new game show where the only way to win is to keep it together. Oh, 
This show's crazy, right? Can't believe I'm hosting a game show. The Final Straw, July 10th on ABC and stream on Hulu. Earn an associate degree in respiratory therapy from Midland College. This is a 20-month curriculum, 66 semester credit hours. This program prepares students for an allied health specialty that cares for patients with cardiopulmonary deficiencies. and 10-speed transmission. Premium features available on GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. Sierra Heavy Duty models are arriving weekly at your local GMC dealers. Available for immediate delivery with 0% financing. Roll into fun this summer with half-price attractions at Music City Mall. Fun hours are back now until the end of summer. You and your family can enjoy all attractions half price Monday through Friday from noon till 3, including the new MCM Rink and Roll Roller Skate Rink. Let the kids play while you cool off and shop at over 100 merchants. Live music weekends and 11 screens of movies are back. It may be hot outside, but it's cool inside at Music City Mall with shopping, dining, and fun. Join us for the annual Odessa Parks and Recreation Father and Daughter Dance at the elegant Odessa Marriott Ballroom. Enchanted Forest, an event like no other, honoring the bond between a father and his daughter. Get dressed up, win great prizes, and dance the night away. Enchanted Forest, a special evening for fathers and daughters, Saturday, June 18th at the Odessa Marriott. Get your tickets today at the City of Odessa website. Your dog is your best friend. But your dog's best friend is your ex-girlfriend. Because she always has irresistible pepperoni. Be your best friend's best friend. Pepperoni. your local weather authority forecast. Well, friends, happy Sunday. Today was definitely a very hot Sunday. Currently in this moment, though, we're not on triple digits. We've actually cooled down, sitting at 92 degrees. A slow kind of cool, but hey, we'll take what we can get. Our humidity is sitting at 20%. Our dew point 45, and our winds are traveling south, southeast at 15 miles per hour. Now, before that sunset happened at 8.55 p.m., we sat in our triple digits, sitting at 104 degrees. Trust me, I was out earlier watching a baseball tournament and it was hot. Usually around this time in June, we're definitely used to 95 degree temperatures, but as hot as hot, but as how hot, how hot it got today, we didn't reach, you know, back in 2001 when we actually sat at 105 degrees. So, you know, one degree short of making that record. So, hey, we'll take it. Taking a look at our lows, we came in, you know, one degree short, sitting at 69 degrees. Usually around this time in June, we're definitely used to 70 degree temperatures. So, we'll definitely take that because you know what? Back in 1979, we sat at 55 degree temperatures. So we'll take that 69. Now taking a look at everyone else's high temperatures, pretty much the entire Permian Basin sat in their 100 degree temperatures, triple digit heat, 104 degrees in Middle Odessa, 107 in Big Spring, 106 in Snyder. But then you know what? Some areas got even hotter in Carlsbad, 111 degrees, and then in Pecos sitting at 110 degrees. So really everyone in their triple digits, you know, except for Marfa sitting at 99, but hey, might as well call it, you know, triple digit temperatures. And for tomorrow morning, we'll be sitting in our 70s at 77 degrees. We will be warming up. It will be pretty breezy, and our winds will be traveling south between 5 and 10 miles per hour. We're going to start at 77. Then we get into noon. That's when we'll be sitting at 93 degrees. It's going to be humid, and it's also going to be breezy. And then we continue on with our temperatures rising by 5 p.m., sitting at 101 degrees. Very hot and still breezy. Now, tomorrow is going to be steamy, and it's also going to be super duper breezy. Right now in this moment, we are seeing winds travel 16 miles per hour in that double digit in Middle Odessa, 14 miles per hour in Big Spring.
spring. But by the time we make it into the morning around 7 a.m., that's when we continue to see wind traveling in the double digits in Middle Odessa, 18 miles per hour, tying with the big spring in Fort Stockton, 20 miles per hour. Now it's still going to be windy. We get all the way up into our 20s of mile of wind traveling, 25 miles per hour in the Middle Odessa area, 22 miles per hour in Big Spring, along with Snyder. But it gets a little bit faster in Fort Stockton, 31 miles per hour. It's going to be very, very windy. And then we're into our Tuesday, you know, afternoon. We're still going to see those winds. So do be sure to hold on to those lashes, your wig, those hats, even your shades. And then taking a look at some heat tips. You know, the main thing is be sure to stay hydrated, drink lots of fluid, limit your outdoor activities, and find some shade and avoid outdoor burning if possible because of all that wind we will be seeing. Take a look at that allergy report. Our trees, our grass, and our dust will be sitting at a moderate level. Our weeds and our mold will be sitting at a low level. So take necessary precautions so that you can make the most of it. Now, tomorrow night we'll be seeing in the 70s, mostly clear, but still pretty breezy. Now, Rob, that seven day forecast is going to show that tomorrow is going to be our only day in the triple digits for 101 degrees in around normal temperatures. That sounds like a treat, just, uh, you know, one day in the triple digits. But look, if it starts to feel like a blow dryer outside, it's hot, it's blowing wind in my face, it's time to go right back inside. Exactly, you and both. Uh, uh, but unfortunately, sometimes we, we got to stick out there and, and do our job, so that's <laughs> yes. the way it is. <laughs> yes. All right, thanks, Bridget. Well, across Texas in the nearly 100 degree weather, it can be hard finding the right time to exercise your dogs. Some pet owners brought out their dogs in the Houston area for some fun and socializing, but they say they know the warning signs to look out for when their pets have had enough. We usually don't take them out this early. We usually try to wait until sunset, walking them on the grass. But because we had to take them out earlier today, we specifically took them a little bit further out to have them play in a pool. Just like with kids, make sure you're watching them. So when she starts to pant too much, she's obviously not interested in playing. We shower, we go home. Heat strokes are a real thing and veterinary hospitals are already uh, pretty booked up. Experts say for dogs who spend a lot of time outdoors, remember to make sure they have shade and plenty of cold water. If you ever think your dog is overheating, don't wait. You should contact a vet right away. And new at 10, a Texas Panhandle native is closing out his chapter as a Southwest Airlines employee. Captain Larry Vaughn took to the sky for his retirement flight from Las Vegas to Amarillo. But as ABC's Judd Baker explains, the flight wasn't just one for the logbook, but also for aviation history. After 31 years at Southwest Airlines, 27 and a half as a captain, Larry Vaughn is flying back to Amarillo for the last time. It's bittersweet because I love my company, love my job. I miss it. Larry's time with Southwest is a family trip. Seven of his family members, five captains and two flight attendants have all worked for Southwest Airlines. And it all started with his father, Doyle. And your dad was uh, one of the fresher hires for Southwest. Yeah, he was the 17th pilot for Southwest Airlines. And it was just uh, phenomenal. And uh, he was one of the pioneers. When his father retired, it was all Vaughn's in the cockpit. Larry and brothers, Lynn and Kevin, all taking to the sky with dad. So here's our beautiful 800. The family affair so, continues uh, on board Southwest Flight 113 with service to Amarillo. You know, we're very fortunate Southwest Airlines is such a family-oriented company. They allowed my brother, Lynn, who is also a senior captain here in Las Vegas, they sent him back to school for three days to qualify him to be my co-pilot. Larry and Lynn will also be joined by their brother, Kevin, in the cockpit. The cabin crew is made up of their sister, Terry, and Lynn's girlfriend, Cindy, and with two other close flight attendant friends, Carl and Deborah. And there are other airlines that would not allow family members to work for the same company. They want this airline to be family, family-oriented. Uh, Before the flight can push back... Well, if I had a nickel for every time I walked one of these jetways, I'm really going to miss it. Las Vegas has one more goodbye for Larry. Captain Larry Vaughn. May 9th, 1991, June 3rd, 2022. Over two, 22,000 flight hours. Thank you for the many years of excellent performance and dedication to Southwest Airlines. There you go, sir. Thank you so much. Wow. Guys, we got an airline to run here. Let's keep this schedule going, okay? And please line up in the single file line. Y'all welcome aboard my uh, retirement plot. So. 
myself for 31 wonderful years. Welcome aboard. Southwest 113, the wind 160 at 16. On my 8 left at Alpha 8, clear for takeoff. We're clear for takeoff at 8 left, Alpha 8, Southwest 113. And it wouldn't be a Southwest retirement flight without a party at 38,000 feet. The captain, Larry Vaughn. Here's to you, Larry. What makes this flight even more special is Larry's mom was able to be on board. Oh, Larry, I tell you, it's hard to believe it, that many years have gone by and you have retired. That just makes me that much older. I wish you wouldn't do that. On behalf of Southwest Airlines, your flight crew, and the Vaughn family, welcome to Amarillo. We just touched all the people that were here. Uh, all the support, the water cannon salute, the people on the ramp, the people in the terminal. My brother and I roofed houses and built decks for five years to get money to fly. Three times a day, Southwest would fly over Amarillo on the end route to Albuquerque. And we would both look up and point and say, that's where we're going to be one of these days. And that's where we are today. So that tears of joy, what I'm having right now. That was Judd Baker reporting. Now, Larry won't stop flying in his retirement. He's hoping to fly private jets out of Amarillo. He and a group at Blue Sky Airfield will also continue to fly their World War II biplane over, ev over events in the Panhandle. And now, your ABC Big Two Sports. Well, we have the Rangers in Chicago today. First inning, no score. Marcus Simeon hits it deep off Michael Kopech. A.J. Pollock at the wall and makes the catch. Pollock gets his hand just over the wall for the catch, but still no score. Later in the inning, Michael Kopech appears to injure his ankle on a pitch. He was taken out of the game after appearing to be, to be unable to put weight on his ankle. Still no score, third inning. Rangers down 1-0. Eli White takes Johnny Cueto deep for the second run homer, his third of the season. Rangers take a 2-1 lead. Going towards the seventh inning now, same score. Bases loaded for Chicago. Andrew Vaughn singles off of Dennis Santana. Reese McGuire and Mendick score. White Sox tie the game at three. Top of the 11th now, two on. Ezekiel Duran, well, he's about to connect for a three-run homer of Jose Ruiz. His second of the season. Rangers now up 6-3. Going to the bottom of the 11th, two on. Mendick hits it hard off Joe Barlow. White and Charlie Culberson collide. Mendick with the RBI triples. Larry Garcia scores. Now White's in pain after colliding with Culberson. A scary scene. He laid on the ground for several minutes before slowly walking off the field. He would leave the game with a right wrist injury. It's his own. And next batter, A.J. Pollock. With the hit off Barlow, Mendick scores. The White Sox go on to tie the game at six. Heading now to the top of the 12th, two on, and Jonah Hine with the single. Corey Seager and Adalis Garcia score. Garcia goes around the tag at home. Rangers hang on to win 8-6. And coming up next, a recent string of deadly crashes involving combat aircraft is leading one military branch to hit a safety pause tomorrow. Those details when we come back. available on GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. Sierra Heavy Duty models are arriving weekly at your local GMC dealers. Available for immediate delivery with 0% financing. Looking for the best brands, the best selection, all at the best prices? Then Denver Mattress has you covered. 
And during the epic summer sale, everything is on sale. Like the Queen Size Summit Firm, now only $284.99. Or Score Buena Vista Firm for only $474.99. Purchase a Tempur-Pedic and get a free $300 gift, plus five years no interest and free shipping. Shop the best of the best at the best prices. Only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. We are excited to announce that the Oil Patch Kids Invitational Golf Tournament will be held this year at Hogan Park Golf Course on July 22nd and 23rd. This is a two-person scramble benefiting foster children and other children at risk in the Permian Basin. To register for this great cause, visit us online at oilpatchkids.org or contact Kathy, Kaylin, or Susan for more information about the tournament. The Oil Patch Kids Invitational Golf Tournament. Become a true West Texas hero by registering today. The Navy is preparing for a one-day safety pause tomorrow, sparked by recent deadly crashes involving combat aircraft. The most recent deadly accident involved an Osprey aircraft, which claimed the lives of five Marines. Here's ABC's Zoreen Shah with those details. Tonight, the Navy pausing most non-essential flights while they investigate a recent string of crashes, killing a Navy pilot and five Marines. It's called a safety pause, grounding non-deployed aircraft for one day on Monday, following a trio of accidents in California this month. On June 3rd, U.S. Navy pilot Lieutenant Richard Bullock dying when his fighter jet went down in the Mojave Desert. On June 8th, five Marines killed when their Osprey aircraft crashed near the Mexico border. Military aircraft Osprey that went down. There's five subjects on the aircraft. On June 9th, a Navy helicopter with four crew members crashed in El Centro, leaving one injured. I'm getting coordinates right now. It's a helicopter down in Palo Verde area. The Navy saying the purpose of the pause on Monday is to review risk management practices and conduct training on threat and error management processes. The names of the lost Marines now released. They include Captain John Sachs, son of L.A. Dodgers legend Steve Sachs, who during happier times talked about his son's lifelong dream. At seven years old, my son was so fortunate to kind of know what he wanted to do in his life. He wanted to be a pilot in the Marine Corps. And coming up next, a graduation ceremony that brought tears and smiles by one senior's walk across the stage was an unforgettable moment. We'll be right back. AC Big Two Sports, brought to you by Glasheen Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers. After a long day, you just want to relax, and I understand that. In Bob Mills Sleep Spa with any selected queen mattress, I'm giving you the heads up mood base free. So relax, it's free from Bob Mills Sleep Spa. He made one of the boldest calls of the 2020 election. And Monday, News Nation political editor Chris Steinwald testifies to the January 6th committee. Watch the hearing live on NewsNationNow.com and then hear from him after the testimony. Only on News Nation, Monday. Do you know the fastest growing cable news network in America? I'll give you a hint. It's News Nation. We're new and we're different. If you're looking for news without the noise? Come back to the news the way it used to be. News Nation. News for all America. The Vineyard, Midland's premier master planned community, impeccable high-end luxury with resort-style amenities. These Silverleaf homes are located close to Green Tree Country Club and are walking distance to Faskin Elementary. Contact Alexa to schedule your private showing. Grande is becoming a Stown Broadband. We've been a part of your community for years, providing you with award-winning internet service and 24-7 customer support. We connect you to a world of astounding possibilities. Your passions are what fuel us to keep innovating and to continue to astound you every day. Get 300 meg internet for $25.99 a month for 12 months, plus standard Wi-Fi. Introducing Astound Broadband, powered by Grande. Come celebrate Dad at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Get up to $150 off grills, up to $300 off sports of field gun safes, and up to 25% off men's Under Armour and Adidas apparel. Deals end Sunday. Visit your store or academy.com today. Our factories demanded Bob Mills take all on-order merchandise at one time. There's only one way to solve this problem. Price. The five-piece Cliffwood bedroom, just $19.97, and the queen mattress, free. Free is better. 
And last tonight, a high school senior overcoming the odds. After being paralyzed in an accident, all this student wanted to do was walk across his graduation stage. ABC's Whit Johnson shows us that moment. Jake Tebow, a hockey player from Milton Academy near Boston, was seriously injured in a game last year, leaving him paralyzed from the waist down. Despite overwhelming challenges, ever since this 19-year-old was determined to do one thing. Let's just to walk again. Pushing himself through grueling rehab for hours, almost every day. They were like, oh, just try by yourself, and I made it two mats, and I was like, oh, okay, holy cow. Jake remained steadfast on reaching his goal to be able to stand at his graduation. Jake Morris Tebow. And take a look at Jake yesterday when his name was called out at the ceremony. First in his wheelchair. Stopping and lifting himself up. Now standing with leg braces holding on to a walker. Then taking 30 steps across the stage to receive his diploma. A moment of inspiration and triumph. Jake's supportive classmates right there by his side. I really want to thank everyone and leave you with the message to always work hard, never give up. And when life gives you challenging times, face it head on. A moment they won't forget. That was Whit Johnson reporting. And when we come back, Bridget will have one last look at the forecast. If your floors look like this, then it's time to call West Texas Commercial Cleaning. Using one of the most advanced floor cleaners available, they'll make your floors shine. West Texas Commercial Cleaning. Let us bring your floors back to life. Who needs a cordless phone? I can go anywhere with this thing. I can be here, here, and out here. It's for you. It's not really for you. I'm just making a point. What's next? I'm going to switch energy providers just because my bills are too high? Don't be a holdover. Switch to Champion Energy for home or business. We know these roads and drive them too. From the big trucks passing through on the interstates to the oil field traffic in the Permian Basin. At Glasheen, Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers, we handle big crashes, especially those involving big trucks. We know that it's important to investigate immediately before critical evidence disappears or witnesses' memories fade. For catastrophic injury or wrongful death, call the people you know. Glasheen, Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers. From mitigating mice in Midland to tackling ticks in tall cities and wiping out black widows in West Texas, no one knows Midland Odessa pests better than Fox. That's because Fox Pest Control is locally operated and dedicated to keeping our community pest free. We offer free inspections and same day service. Visit foxpestlocal.com for details. Fox Pest Control, local experts, killer results. Your hometown furniture and mattress store, Allen's Gallery, is stocked full with name brands like Flex Steel, Lazy Boy, Ashley, Wow, Pedic, and many more. Ready for immediate free delivery within 100 miles. Wow! I want to thank you for shopping at Allen's Gallery. We promise to provide you top value for your money. And remember, we'll save you money. Wow! Well, let's take one last look at that seven-day forecast. Now, tomorrow is actually going to be the only day this week that we'll be in our triple digits, sitting at 101 degrees. Now, it's going to be hot and breezy, 20 with Tuesday, actually. Very hot as well, sitting at 97. Now, the one thing I can say about this upcoming week, minus tomorrow, is that we're going to go back to, you know, a average temperatures for this time in June. So that's super exciting. Our lows in the morning and in the evening will be sitting in the 70s. So definitely not too bad whatsoever, Rob. Now, the one thing about it is that, you know, even though we aren't going to be in our triple digits like the entire week like we were last week, we still got to, you know, do the same kind of things, you know, wear sunscreen, hydrate, and, you know, have fun in the sun. Absolutely. And we do all this talking about pet safety. Yes. But right now, the true champion of all this weather, it's the cats because <laughs> you don't have to take them outside and walk them. They just lie down. They enjoy the AC with you. Exactly. <laughs> That's why my cat and I, we're perfect for each other. Not that anyone cares, but... <laughs> Listen, if I had a dog, I kind of sort of do have a dog, but if I were to have one, you know, 
I'd make it a house dog. The fish and the cats get it. Yeah, yeah they like they to hang do. out. <laughs> well, that's all. Thank you, Bridget. And that's all the time we have for news tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Good Morning Basin starts at 5.